Hello and welcome back to Keep On Gaming. That's right, we keep gaming so you don't have to. We're here again with Yasta 11 and Rise of Flight, the World War I air combat simulator. Last time was our first mission. We went out, we did a quick patrol, we saw one balloon go down, I think it was one of ours, and then we came back and landed. Decent landing, you know, bounced once, probably could do better. Uh, but hopefully this time we'll actually be able to make uh, an air-to-air -air kill or see some combat or something interesting happen rather than just uh, taking a fly around. So, without any further ado, let's go into the career mode and see what the 18th has in store for us. Here is the squadron room. We should be able to see everyone's uh, medals and, and kills and uh, what the new day has for in store for us. It is 1 degree Celsius outside. It is January 18th, 1917. And uh, our commander is still Rolf Schneider. And what air conditions are uh, a little bit of wind out of the east, not a problem. None whatsoever. Uh, everyone has had, well almost everyone has had a mission blown. No kills throughout the entire squadron. I have a good feeling though this may change. So, without any further ado, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go into the briefing screen. I'll meet you there and then we'll discuss what's going to happen. See you there. All right, and welcome to the briefing screen. Looks like we're heading out to the southwest of Dunai. Flying over the river there, past the destroyed city of Fempo, uh, near Arras, and then on back after some balloon kills. So, again, our um, our major target here is to, or primary target rather, is to follow the sound route, destroying our observation balloons, and uh, maybe we can take on some fighters while we're out. So this is a morning mission, and um, the weather should be good. We'll see what happens. The flak's going to be kind of crazy. Uh, looking forward to it, so I'll see you in-game. Okay, and welcome back. We're in the flight line. Everyone else is getting started up, and we need to, too. So I'm going to start flipping the switches here and get us started. Come on. Don't want to be that guy. There we go. Of course, we can punch the throttle first thing. We're just ready to go, man. Alright, let's go ahead and go. Take it off right into that sun. Kind of sucks, but this one is. So, um, I forgot to look at the altitude we'll be flying at. I'm sure it's not incredibly high. We want to get in underneath the balloons and fly up to them. Otherwise, we're diving down on them and we can reel them down faster than we can get up there. So, uh, well, if they don't take us up too far, I'm going to go ahead and load my gun. So it's going to take us a little bit to get there. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause recording right here. And then I will see you in a little bit. Something interesting happens. Back to keep on gaming. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we just got a mission accomplished alert uh, saying that the, uh, the balloons were going after, which I assume is that one that's on fire from the uh, has been destroyed by friendly targets or friendly fighters. Um, so, yeah. Uh -huh. they, uh, they just took our target for us. I hope we run into some sort of uh, contact on the way back. Yeah, this is just another flight over the uh, over no man's land. Look at the targets that are either not there or already taken care of. So it's kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. But uh, what's gonna happen is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with uh, the flight we have back. And I'll bring you back if there's a. Uh, 
Okay, so we've just transitioned from a mission, uh, which the mission was accomplished. We were in midair, and um, that that morning mission that we went on, uh, there was nothing happened. We we basically went out there. Someone else shot down our balloon. Our balloon. Can you believe that? That was ours to shoot down. And then uh, we came back and landed. Everything went okay. We did bounce. So need still work. Keep working on that. Uh, my mistake was not to check the next mission uh, for today. The afternoon mission and see if we were involved and guess what we're involved I've never had that before but there you go so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna perform a line patrol um, it's gonna be ourselves Guther Lang and uh, these two other gentlemen uh, a four four aircraft flight we're gonna get up there and uh, hopefully with this mission we'll we'll see some contact so I will see you in the briefing okay and welcome to the briefing screen so here we're gonna head out to the southwest like we did before, get over the line, do some patrolling, and then head back uh, this afternoon. Uh, wind is still out of the east. Remember, this is the same day, the 18th. Um, so yeah, here we go. I will see you at takeoff. Okay, and welcome to the flight line. We're getting ready to take off. Just go ahead and start our engine. As soon as we get getting ready, we're number two in the flight. What needs taken off? Let's go ahead and punch it. And we have the rest of the flight is falling in behind. I think it's number two, I see on this left wing. It has been a little bit. Oh, that makes sense. I'll be on this way. So we're going to form up here. I'll spare you the long flight there. It's usually about 30 minutes. 15 to 30 minutes to the, uh, the front line. So I will check you. See something happens. Okay, we're back in it. Squadron leaders dove down hard over here. Let's move this off a bit so we're going to over at the engine. Uh, let's check and see where the rest of the flight is. Okay. Oh, I got one down below me. There he is. Okay. It's a pretty wild maneuver. You must have seen something. I see nothing. Was he just going crazy? Did he fall asleep? What's going on here? Check our tail, just in case. And there he goes again. The wheel is tied over and super Couple dots coming towards us. Watch this RPM. And we watch RPM. That was a little bit too hot. This is black down there. What are we doing? 
lead. Okay. Thought I saw some tracer fire there. There's some shells exploding on the ground. Okay, those are definitely two fighters out there. I think we have our first contact. Definitely two aircraft out there. At least one balloon. Something's getting shot down today, that's all I can tell you. Okay, wait. Okay, those are German. all those shells landing down there on no man's land. It's constant shelling. Day in and day out. RPM it'll tear up the engine and it'll be totally screwed. Zero over RPM. Definitely getting into the flag now. Something not incredibly accurate. I lost sight of one. Just jog out here for a second. There's the worst feeling in the world to get to a dogfight in these early airplanes and then suddenly you have oil all over your face and engine parts. It's not the best feeling. Okay, I see something down there. Respect. Fighter. Let's check behind us, make sure we don't have anything sneaking up on us. It's so far. Everyone's 
pretty accurate and uh, one hit one of those uh, 75 to 45 millimeter explosions in here for this suppose. In fact, I'm going to change my flight path a little bit every so often. It will uh, cost me speed and energy, but uh, I'd rather not get leaked by a uh, Bridge A gunner, Bridge of British A gunner. That'll be that. There's two aircraft out there. There's one on the left side and one on the right. Catch up with the rest of the guys. I can't tell if we're gaining on those British fighters, so British and French. This is the arrest sector of the uh, front line. And Come April, April and May, the British will actually attack, historically they attack uh, from behind us, over there, to the east, trying to break the uh, German line. But uh, much like all the offensives, most of the offensives in the First World War failed, so we got a huge casualty to this. I feel like we're not making any progress with these guys. Definitely in pursuit. Pull the one to our right's getting a little bit closer than the other one. Oh, I can't even, can't even see the other one. Looks like it's lost in that fog thing. I'm actually going to rejoin my guys before I get lost. Just attack their target. Kind of the waiting game. Sometimes you'll see a target, and they'll be outbound on a mission, and they're almost as fast as you, if not a little bit faster. You just have to wait to catch up. Kind of tedious sometimes. Get him to maneuver though. Once he breaks off left or right, he's ours. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, skip forward a little bit uh, to when we make contact. That way you don't have to sit here with me and uh, enjoy the pursuit. So I'll see you. Okay, and we're back. Uh, that was a short time. It looks like uh, people are starting to maneuver. Uh, they're taking shots. Do they have a rear gunner? Nope. These are ours nonetheless. Let's watch that uh, RPM and dive in. You can't tell what type of aircraft that is, but... French. He has a tail gunner, so we gotta kind of play it cool here. He's freaking the hell out, though. I would too. Let's see how much damage we did with that. Not enough. Don't explode. Please don't explode. Definitely got some good hits on him. We just need to re attack. Maybe his rear gunner is out, I'm not sure. Usually be a hail of empire right about now. I'm gonna take the throttle down a little bit more. There we go. Looks like we're about to get our first kill here. Re-engage with a deflection shot. Damn. He's in trouble. Oh, his engine's out, that's why. Oh, jeez. Let's extend out a bit. Oh, there's a massive blue ball going on. I'm going to make one more attack on him. 
just to see if I can... Hopefully we won't get tagged. Oh no, this is a bad spot. Bad spot, bad spot. He can stay below him for his tail gunner can't reach us. We're kind of skirting around here, but... Let's see if the engine's back on, or was on, and I just you can see it. Almost stalled out there. Spinned out a bit, and return to target. Push that two guns. This be over a lot quicker. Collection shot. Surprised I haven't that gunner yet. Line back up. Let's get aggressive here. Oh, and he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. That is a confirmed kill. Okay, let's get back in the fight. One, two, three, four, five, four, four. There's one extra here. I'm gonna bet it's gonna be that British uh, piece here. Nope, that's a new port. Yeah, that's Newport. Okay, so Newport was a French aircraft uh, that was loaned off the British because they have really crappy aircraft. Uh, we, <laughs> we're in the middle of uh, the crap here. We got this uh, two seater here. Oh my god, jam. We got a saver guy there. He's in trouble. We're probably going to get one behind us for a long time to watch it. And he's done. Save your ass. There's our next target. Let's see if we slip him underneath him. Turn right. This turned out to be a very, very intense, uh, intense patrol. I lost him in the sun there. I figured you'd go right. Turn the tail, we're good. We're not nosing the ground while we're doing it. this right you don't need no tail to fly he's in trouble I'm not gonna let him go oh he's done car wheeling in damn okay let's uh I think we've uh, pressed our luck here that's some pretty solid kills that we can confirm as our own so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bug out know where the rest of our guys are. I hope they're okay. We did save one of our guys from a uh, certain doom there, so uh, mission accomplished, if you ask me. What I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and make my way over the, uh, the trench lines. I'm trying to get too low to get caught in those blasts, and I will pick up with you on the other side. Alright everyone, we've made it back to base after a successful mission. Uh, as a reminder, we have shot down three enemy aircraft, uh, saved one of our own, and uh, I would say that's a very successful mission. Very, very cool. So what we're going to do now is, uh, it seems like we may be leaking a little bit of fuel. Um, we're going to 
gonna go ahead and uh, land first, just to make sure that we get on the airfield. And then uh, from there, we'll see what the debriefing has to see, or uh, tell us, rather, about the mission. I'm confident that, you know, those kills will be on there and everything, and all will be well. That was a very, very cool flight. Uh, very snappy. Couldn't ask for anything better. So let's see if we can get on the deck with no issues. Um, engine seems to, I don't know, it's actually a little funny. I think I may have hit, taken a hit from one of those rear gunners. But uh, I think we'll be doing okay once we get to roll over here real quick. Cut the throttle down. bounce. Second bounce. Oh no! Oh, we flipped. Engine wasn't really responding there, but uh, I think we'll be fine. Let's uh, check it out and see how we did. Okay, it looks like we did crash the plane. Uh, it only registers one kill, but that's fine. Um, you know, it is what it is. We did lose our flight lead, Gunther Lang. Uh, he did crash, and uh, supposedly, you know, hopefully the other two uh, landed. So let's take a look at the, uh, the debriefing screen. I'm really upset that they didn't count those other two kills, but um, in the campaign mode, there are some issues with... Uh, with uh, kill counts because historically you could claim a kill and um, you know see it go down and it's obviously a kill but no one else was there to claim it or see you uh, see that plane go down so that you, you couldn't technically claim that kill so uh, that may have been what happens kind of randomization interesting little flavor didn't really work out in our favor this time um, good news is we got our first iron cross and if you notice this is the same Metal that is on the uh, the screenshots, or rather the uh, the title pages for this um, for this let's play. So stamped in 1914. Uh, you know this is one of those old school iron crosses. Very cool. And uh, let's see. Yep, we have the one kill. No one else had any kills. Um, let's see. It it looks like it counted the no Newport and not the other two. Um, uh, two-seaters, but that's fine. So, uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for flying with me, and as always, uh, keep on gaming.